Hello, it's us. There's Sandy. There's Sarah. And we're in the Black Swan Inn. It's filming day. Say hi, G. Hello. It's filming day for funeral dress. And this is where we are. Hang on, wait for it, because it's pretty badass. You can sort of see it behind me. And there you go. Our actors, actress and actor, Michael and Megan are in makeup right now. Uh, they're gonna look super cool. I will put a picture now. Cool. And um, they, they're gonna look fucking cool, man. And we're gonna start filming here pretty soon uh, once everybody's in and out. And we're walking to makeup. We're gonna follow Sandy. Let's go. With her gains. You're gonna follow me and I'm gonna get a door. So here we go. I have to go in there. I have to go right in there to get a door. So wish me luck. That's our door. Hopefully we actually get to use it. There we go. Shiss. So what important thing are you doing right now, Courtney? No, she's getting, you know, you always have to say, I'm getting in the right space. Yes. This is my directing hat. She's not a half sister. Not a half sister. Milady. <laughs> oh no, he's, he's, he's doing it this way. No, not he's you guys. <laughs> Were you like posing and shit? I, well, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing this more often. Hey, we're filming. We're not filming. It's like 5.17 and we haven't started filming yet. That's it. Uh, makeup's taking longer than we thought. But it's fine. It's going to look good. And it's giving us dark times, which is good. So Courtney and I have gone through this whole house. We've all gone. Me, Courtney, Sarah, Chris. We've all gone through this and set scenes, got lights ready, getting things ready. We're pretty close to being ready. And there we are. This is so ugly. It's, I mean, it's amazingly ugly. I can't get to zoom in. Whoa! Extreme close up. Whoa! Oh my God, there's a, no, leave it. Leave it? Yes. I didn't realize that wasn't part of it. No, 1,000. No, this guy's body is behind the Okay, first shot of the day. Here we go. Whenever you're ready. Yep. Open! Cool. All right, everybody, go home. We're done for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Shot number one down. Here we go. Check. Oh, damn it. We also got B-roll, so we have to check those out too. Boop, boop. Yay! Three shots down. Congratulations, everybody. I've ascended into my final form, guys. For real. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You can make it tight. Are you sure? I keep running into things because I'm so big that it's knocking it off more and more. <laughs> I also bought like a bunch of little things too. Yes, that might help pin it to itself. How many people does it take to make a Sandy? How many people does it take what? To make a Sandy. Uh, well, 
<laughs> As you can see, it takes a village to raise me. But it looks badass. Um, this was made building. I'm sorry. Unless it's not here, but it's absolutely gorgeous. What I'm wearing was created by, with the help of uh, Nathan from Lucy in Disguise. Lucy in Disguise in Austin. That's and genius. Courtney, That's a great name. Um, styled this. Um, and Otter did this. And oh, Amber did my hair. There she goes. She added, she did my hair. And now I'm making more things. Hey, it is six, 8 o'clock at night and we're filming. Boy! Is it 8 o'clock? Yeah, it's 8 o'clock at night and we're filming. Finally! Here we go. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, so we'll see you in a little bit. Where did your lever be, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, hey guys, what's up? So, um, we were filming the vlog for Funeral Dress while filming Funeral Dress, and then shit hit the fan, and that's why footage just stopped. Like, right before we started filming, I think nobody took BTS footage. We even pulled Ev off of shooting behind the scenes strictly, put him on a camera because we needed like all hands on deck. So, since there's no ending to the vlog, I figured I would sit down with Sandy and Courtney and talk about the end of the day. Well, it actually wasn't the end of the day. It was literally the start of the day. It was the us. end of day one and the overnight into yes. 5 a.m. the next day. Yeah, so I think the, <laughs> the entire plan was to shoot in two days. Yes. Um, we would shoot all of Michael and Megan stuff day one and then come back as just the band and shoot the band on day two. Um, but we ran into like a crap ton of complications. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we never even started shooting Michael and Megan until like, what, five, six o'clock at night? Yeah, yeah. Like, it was really, really late. And we couldn't get Michael the next day. I feel like it was like six or it seven. It was later even. Yeah, it was yeah. six or seven. It felt insanely late. And so- um, Well, and we had started at like 9 a.m. Right. Um, getting on site, so it was, yeah. Yeah, we got, Makeup probably started at, at 11. Something. Something like, like that. that. Yeah, and yeah. so uh, there was just a lot of complications with the prosthetics, um, which came out great. Yeah, they turned out great. It, the heat, too. Humidity. Like just the humidity yeah. and yeah. heat. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, um, the whole thing. I think, I think in, in my head at first, it was a little more refined, but I love the way it came out because it feels like, I was still saying, it feels like B... B-rated horror. Yeah, you know what I, mean? I almost wish so. we would have gone even more that direction. Sometimes, you know, like when I look at it, yeah, like we could have gone a little All bit way, super like... Romero. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Super but Romero. I think it looks amazing. Um, um, really, and that's you and Chris, and Chris who isn't here working on those shots a lot. Yeah, <laughs> for like your whole life. I'm sure it feels like. Yeah, it took a long time. But yeah. It's okay. Uh, literally frame by frame, you have to uh, go in there and smooth out that skin. Uh, and that's a lot of Chris and Courtney who are doing this on the back end. Post. Fix it in post, Chris says. Well, yeah. there you go. Um, but yeah, we stopped all behind the scenes footage, so I wanted I wanted us to sit down and talk about the, the, the shoot now because we didn't... It was such I'll a mad just rush. Relive it to tell yeah. people what happened. It was such a mad rush once we started filming. So, like I said, we were going to film Michael and Megan day one, band day two. Um, we couldn't get Michael on day two, and we finally started filming um, everything like at six o'clock at night. So we made the split decision to just film everything All in night. one night. Yeah. Um, one twenty long ass twenty four hour day. It was. It was. Yeah, I think we made that decision at like ten or eleven. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we had to stop. We couldn't do any of the band shots. We had, after uh, after eleven p.m. Right. After eleven, right. right? Right. And we went to eleven o three. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that that was the issue. Is we need we were trying to fit. Um, we couldn't shoot band stuff, uh, or we couldn't shoot Michael stuff on Michael and Megan on Sunday. So we were trying to fit all that in. Fit all that in. Um, and then we found out about the whole noise thing with not shooting the band at 11. So it was like, let's just get the band in the house. Originally, the plan was to have the band in like a wooded thicket. And 
Megan would, as the, the lead character, make her way out of the house into this pseudo magical wooden thicket where the band existed and get out through of, a door through a door yeah. which and which we built we and yeah, had to it's... scrap because we were worried about weather right oh that's right so that's we rewrote why. the video on set yeah like that that part of the story right. rewrote it on set with what we had access to right which then in turn also played into the schedules having like yeah. everything being re all the, the shoot the, sh the shooting schedule like the shot schedule was yeah pretty much kaput yeah. um and so uh we decided to shoot the band in the house and i think it came out rad we were shooting the band in the house because we were supposed to have megan dance like through the band yes yep and that didn't even happen no i mean it was such <laughs> it's such it is it was such a mad rush that the the ideas that were flowing were flowing and they were they were getting into our heads yeah. and then they would just go floop right back out. I really love how it ended. I love that we decided it also evolved, mm -hmm. which always happens. Yeah. So I think when we, when we were in the bedroom doing the mirror shots mm -hmm. that you were directing Megan, right? Mm -hmm. You were shooting. Yeah, you were she shooting. was shooting. No, she was shooting. She was shooting. We okay. were both kind of giving. Some yeah, you guys were both in there, and I think that. When, once we did those shots and I like we wanted it to be it was really important that I touch Megan mm -hmm. for her to like integrate her shadow yep. self um, that um, we sort of changed how that shot went and I like reach around was like I'm gonna like kill her mm -hmm. <laughs> instead I lift her chin up to look at herself yeah and then she sings with me and then we were like oh no the dancing through like yeah. She needs to touch Michael. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, yeah. once we are healing and we are moving through healing in our own lives, then we can help other people with that. So, right. um, so that's how the ending ended up becoming that. Right. Sort of, like, just on the fly. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, <sighs> I, I think, yeah, I don't know. Th this video did not turn out how I think we originally thought it was going to turn out. I, I, sh I think visually inside the house, it's exactly what I was thinking of. Especially once we got done with color and everything, Courtney and Chris came to rehearsal last week or the week before. When did we release this video? So, a week ago today. A week ago today. One so, week ago today. Yeah, so it was literally the last week at rehearsal they came by and they were like, here, watch this. This is this is as close to final as we are. And as soon as it got to the, uh, the first shot of Drew playing, and the that wash of purple, I was like, that's yeah, it. Like yeah, yeah. that's exactly what we were always looking for. Yeah. Um, and so uh yeah, it didn't turn out like I thought, but it I it turned out what it as the cedars always happens. It's not quite what we thought, but it turned out exactly the way it needed to be. What, so, what it's meant to be. Yes. I think um I think too, like it was such a tough shoot and there were so many like it's mentally just mentally exhausting to be doing those kinds of gymnastics and undoing it like in your brain, mm -hmm. replanning and rethinking and re and like, so you're, you're just like, everyone was so decision fatigued mm -hmm. by the end of the night. Like we were just losing, we were losing, we were losing crew, like drunk like flies. Drunk <laughs> flies. Hey, but overall, overall, everybody on set had, I mean, there was they were a little bit great. of tiredness happening. For they sure. Got some craziness, but overall, like everybody was yes. amazing on set. No one asked anyone, hey, you ready for 24 hours? Yeah, we just it just, we it. just decided we just, to do we it. Had it. And everybody was in it. <laughs> we had to just like meet at the like, at the critical point yeah. of that, when that decision had to be made. And then like, everyone was like, yeah, we're in, let's yeah. do it, let's go. The actors, they've been in prosthetics for hours. hours. I've been in makeup and of course it yeah. for like 13 hours yeah. at that point. <laughs> so yeah. it was just like. Uh, Santos and I, well, Santos, Courtney, Sarah, Everett, uh, we had all been, this sound this may sound first world problem, but when you're filming and you're not using like a gimbal, or even when you are using a gimbal, the gimbals are so heavy, but when you're not using a gimbal, you're trying to stay so still that by the end of the night, your body is like a wreck because yeah. you've just been so tense for so long that I, I, I man, I could not, I cannot thank Sarah and Everett and you and Chris and just everybody. Everybody did such a great job. Gosh, man, that was, that is rough. And the fact that they, everybody stuck with us was incredible. Yeah, I mean, at one point, Michael, I think there's a behind the scenes shot of Michael in costume waiting 
while we were trying to get everything and he he's you know his eyes are covered mm -hmm. with prosthetics those were pasties by the way <laughs> he's in the chair and he's got his teacup and everything for the scene and he literally falls asleep <laughs> he's just sleeping in that chair but he looks like he's i don't know like oh. posing for also, another freaking shout out to Michael because I don't know if this made it in the vlog anywhere because I'm just now starting to go through the footage. That dude got in a freaking, like, almost death car wreck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A couple of weeks before we shot I think this. it was a little further back than that. He's, for, yeah. he, he's had a lot of significant um, injury right. that he had to... Uh, yeah. He had to walk with a cane. And the cane in the video was it's literally real. his cane <laughs> yeah. that he had to use. We were like, fantastic. It's and, now part of the look. <laughs> yeah, and, and he stuck with us for 24 freaking hours. It's just yeah. incredible. And Megan, too. That was her debut for like yeah. acting, um, is my understanding. And she was a trooper and phenomenal and yep. so easy to work with. And yeah, having great talent that yeah. is easy to work with really makes creating all of that so much easier. I mean, I guess with all of our projects, it's, you know, have have an idea in mind of what we need, the message we need to get across, and then just go with the flow. Be water. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Be water for all the projects where we involve this many people and this many ideas yeah. and this many, you know, this much emotion. Uh, yeah. You know, if, if any of us tries to be a rock... You know, it's just, it messes up our flow. Okay. But also, though, sometimes we need that rock. Sometimes we need to go to, like, rock. Okay, what were you thinking yeah. for this? Yeah, well, so that's... Give so me a rock to... Going off, going off of that, like, I try <laughs> my damnedest to be prepared for pretty much anything, even weather. Like, I was ready if we needed to film in rain or whatever that was. What I wasn't prepared for was taking two days of filming and smushing it into one. Yeah. And so, like... Any like of that that I mean just going through the editing and whatnot I'm like oh man I'm so glad we pulled this off and it came out great because man that was hard that was hard That's to really find right. yeah the, like especially with the band performances we literally had three takes of yeah, that yeah that. that's it and that was it and, and, and not even seeing all the footage but seeing parts of the footage Sarah's in a shot in the shop. <laughs> we're seeing people in mirrors. Lights we and didn't, mirrors. Yeah, we didn't have time to really like look at those, and it, it was rough. Yeah, uh, I was like, oh my god, we should have shot day two. <laughs> we need to go back and shoot the band. Like yeah. we just during the editing process, I was I was a little panicky just yeah. because I was like, oh my god, we're not going to make it work. It's just there's too many mess ups. Sure, and, sure. But then we work on Ruby Magic and. Yeah. Just add a little Kins burn here, crop the hair. <laughs> <laughs> Fix it in post. Well, that's the thing. I remember we, we made the decision, and I think like five minutes later, Sandy came to me, and she's like, hey, are you okay? And I go, I think so. She's like, because we just flipped everything. And she, you guys know how I am. I'm yeah, so yeah, do, do, I was do, like, do, 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 All right, this is going to be a real stretch. Yeah, it's, so there's a real growth opportunity. Yeah, it was you. a huge stretch for me. And yeah. she came and was like, you okay? I was like, I Think so? I think I'm too tired to be mad. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, that day I, I learned to be water. Yeah. Not well, yeah. not good water. Maybe like slushy. Clumpy mud. <laughs> yeah, like slushy. Slushy. Yeah, for Melty sure. Melty ice. Yeah. I don't know. Um, and then for Sandy, all these stories come out of her. Everything we do really does come out of that genius of a mind. It's called trauma. Yeah. <laughs> um, and somehow we take these things she comes to us with, formerly known, uh, liminal, funeral dress, and now, uh, sneak peek. Yeah. Woman King. We're, I'm not going to show anything, but literally, hey, yeah. there's, a, there's something com called Woman King coming up. Um, and uh, um, somehow we take these things and we make them into stuff. Did it come out like you were hoping it did? 100%. Um, because for me, yeah, these might be like, these are stories that are coming out of me mm -hmm. in my experience, but then I, I share them with you guys first. Drew, mm -hmm. uh, Santos, you know, like we talk about them. most of the time these things, these ideas are something that we're talking about at family dinner a year before it turns mm -hmm. into a video, you know? And so it did come out how I expect it to because everybody's fingerprints are on it now, you know? Um, the concept with the the couple with no eyes and no mouth was something Drew and I talked at about around a table four probably four years ago. Mm -hmm. Like, what were 
what were we handed, what were we told about the parts of ourselves that we have to hide? You know, we, we just were having this discussion because I was working on that song and then it sat and then it came back out, you know, and got and reworked. But at that time we were talking about it, you know, four years ago. So I think yes, because I have learned that there's a lot of um, joy and um, are we picking up the conversations in the rest of the studio? Uh, maybe. But Enjoy that. Won't be too bad. Um, <laughs> but there's a lot of joy for me and a lot of, um, I, there's access to so much more when I bring these things to you guys, like these people that I trust and love and I know I'm safe and I can be like, here's this really vulnerable mm -hmm. thing and here's the story that I see. Can you guys add some fake blood and uh, <laughs> like um, help tell like take this metaphor and like make it even more extreme mm -hmm. than it is already? Um, and then everybody ends up putting like their little like the masks that are in that video are only in it because of you. Yeah, that was your, that was something you wanted. Yeah. When I think back to Liminal, Courtney and I we sat and went line by line. I know that's not mm -hmm. this video, but like we looked through every lyric of that song and tried to think about how can we metaphorically mm -hmm. show that. So that was something we did together. So. Yes, it came out the way I had hoped because you guys, um, we've gotten really good as a family at making safe spaces. So we can bring these like really, it was a lot darker yeah. on the inside of me. Sure. <laughs> so I love that I can bring it out that way and then it can be made into something that we can share. For sure. Because I mean, you guys put, put into it as well. I mean, initially I wanted it to be like super scary. Like yeah. I, I like, I love horror movies. We'll uh, get there. We just Sure. Uh, but like, I wanted like jump scares and like stuff that would just make you like. But you can't do that in 24 hours. No, you can't. <laughs> but like, uh, there's a, there's a video by a band called Spirit Box and it's called Holy Roller. And there's a, there's a, there's a scene where she's, she's dressed as a demon. And the first time I saw it gave me the, I don't get scared, but I have that uneasy feeling of like. This makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. I I want to make. I think for some people this will be it. Oh, um, I've already gotten some. I've gotten some yeah. feedback. It's yeah. made some people uncomfortable. Yeah, so. I think for some people it'll make people uncomfortable. But if you can make me uncomfortable, like I, that's that's kind of the. That's the bar. We're that's going the for. bar. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try hard. And so I I hope there's a another freaking preview. There's a song called Heroes. Yeah. Uh, hopefully that'll do it. Um, but yeah. Um, I think that's it. I just wanted to wrap up and like. Okay, what about you? How did you? Did it come out as did, it, did you hoping for? Yes, I think it, so. This is my water moment. It came out exactly like it needed to, and being in this band has forced me to grow in ways that like I can't. I can't have control over everything like I want to have control over everything. <laughs> Um, and so, uh, are there things that I would change? Yes. We talk about this every single time yeah, we, we talk about this like, freaking uh, thing. Uh, yeah. I, there were things I changed and like the mask thing when Sandy was like, this is our shadow self. It's like, man, my, I, I play my shadow self literally every single time I sit down and play D and D. So it was like Dungeons and Dragons. Sorry. I'm a super nerd, but I, I think it's popular again. So it, it is. Uh, but I have this character named Mormont who covers his face with a with like a, a, a pseudo plague doctor mask, which is why I'm wearing a plague doctor mask in this video. And you only see him quickly because the whole band are shadows. There are shadows that exist in this house that are trying to communicate communicate with Megan or even with Michael uh, that it's okay to. I think so. It's weird. Okay, we're gonna get deep. Sorry, guys. This is what we do. I know. I think I think a lot of us come from Christian backgrounds, and I mm -hmm. actually I don't think all of us we in this room in come this from the Christian yeah. background, and even in the band, um, where we're at now could be completely different. It definitely is for me, but I vividly remember in when I was younger, 18, 19 years old, saying like. In Christianity, it's like you shouldn't put a mask on. Just be yourself. If you put the mask on, you're hiding stuff. You're you're hiding your true self. You're hiding, hiding, hiding. It's like no, it's not. Like masks can be good. Mm -hmm. Shadows are good. Putting that plague doctor mask on, I'm not hiding anything. I'm accepting a part of myself that was. It feels like an embrace. Yes. Of a piece of you. Yes. Know? That for so long I was forced to be ashamed of. Mm -hmm. 
And so that's where the mask idea came from. And everybody had a different mask. It didn't necessarily like represent them, but Santos picked out his mask, the, ga the, the gas mask. I wanted each person to kind of pick out a mask that like represented something that they were not ashamed of, but they like wanted to embrace. And I love that Santos picked the gas mask because mm -hmm. it's just cool. And so, um, yes, I think this video came out exactly the way it needed to. And like, when I say this, I mean this, I am so fucking happy with it. Yeah, me too. Um, just proud of, uh, proud of everything we ever do. It's just, I, you know, I say this to you, I don't understand Liminal. I still watch Liminal this day. <laughs> and I don't get it, but I'm super proud of what we did. And I'm insanely happy for it. And now super excited for Woman King, because that'll be the next one. Yeah, um, that's it. We are actually sending that as we speak. We are sending the mastered, Drew is in the other end of the studio sending the mastered version to radio right now. So it's not even going to be out digitally. It's going to go on radio yeah, first. Yeah, radio and then first yeah. It's also fast because we really wanted to get this out. And you can cut all this out if you want to. No, we wanted to get boring. this out today Yeah. because the Supreme we're, Court we're has filming, yeah. just reminded um, we're women, filming this women and queer people yeah. that they don't matter. Right. We don't matter. We don't matter. We are filming this the day the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade. Like I walked in, pissed, yeah, hurt, confused. I had just heard it. I saw you first. I immediately start crying <laughs> in rage. Um, yeah. So Woman King feels like um, very appropriate to yeah. get out there. And Courtney sings on it with me. I'm so excited that. Um, and we have a. A video to, to get shot for that too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quickly. So yeah. Um yeah, that's it. I just want to sit down with the two of you. Man, I this today sucks. But that's we're making the best out of it. That's it. I don't know what to do, so yeah. we're gonna make more art. Right. <laughs> make more art, make more art because uh, uh, so yeah, thanks. Thank you for sitting with me because I didn't have an end to this vlog. The, like I said, it literally behind the scenes footage just like, fucking nope. stopped. Uh, <laughs> so I needed to end this vlog this way. So this is it. Uh, go follow us. I have to do this now because we're getting views. So hit the sub subscribe, <laughs> smash like, that like smash button. that like button, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.